Hello. This is I don't know. We're back again in the shop at Rivas Radical Rides, and we've got some high class automobiles for you. We're going to do an engine swap on two 2005 Porsche Boxsters. One is an S. We're going to pull the motor out and we're going to put it into the red one, and uh, we're going to try and get that done with much precision. So check it out and like the video and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, that's about half a Porsche there. Me and Chevy Metal, we got some work to do. We got a lot of work cut out. We're gonna take the engine out of this one, and we gotta put it in the pretty much the same identical car, except it's a base model. This is an S, a Boxster S. And uh, I'm towing its ass home with some fucked up lights. Cold. Let's all go home, people. Let's all, let's all just go home. Why? Okay. Well, step one, remove your inspection cover, and we have there a 3.2 liter, six-speed. You could kind of say it's a Porsche Roadster or a Porsche Noster. It's Doomster. a, a Dunester. It's not going to go anywhere with a, a wooden block for strut tower. Two by four strut. Yeah, no big deal. Oh, it hold up. Yeah, yeah, I know. I drove it. Um, well, the engine isn't there, obviously, for you amateurs. It's in the back. It's a mid-engine car. Oh, well, let me look in the glove box under the hood. Okay, okay we have uh, minimal swearing so far. We got a center console out. Both these little... Uh, Inspection plates out here and here. She's about to go on the hoist. Find out what this thing's made of. Metal and stuff, but... I didn't hit myself in the face taking the shifter off. No, it's not your... F yeah, I know. They warn you to do that. Alright, let's... Uh, oh, hey, look. It's a bent wheel. Yeah. Alright. Right here under the porch, we got some hacks holes disconnected. By hacks holes, I mean axe holes. Um, this thing was fucking brutally hurt. Right there is disconnected because it broke. There it's broke. That's brokey broke. Um, we got all the brakes off. I'm uh, working on the exhaust there. Figured I'd do an update. It's uh. Boom, boom, Opa Gundam style. This thing was full of uh, water. 
Good thing he kept it in the garage. A couple more lines to take off. Why are these fucking coils out? I don't get that. Two of these, or three of these coils so far have been just pulled out. This one's half pulled out. The fuck? These cats are worth some coin. I wish I could rip them off and keep them for myself. So the plan is, is we gotta go get the fucking bobcat. Son of a bee. That's all right. All right, so everything's unbolted. That is as far as our knowledge. Hey, what's that over there? Our very extensive knowledge. Just kidding. Um, yeah. So. Going left is the sway bar. This is our uh, engine cradle device. Highly customized. Highly customized because the neighbor wasn't home. Well, it was tranny jack. We used a fucking uh, But I don't know if a tranny jack would have held that up. Uh, this side, just the cluster fuck. Check this strut out made from the uh, 1800s. Beautiful. of catalytic converters. Boing. He's just checking out. Fuck. It's a 15 and I can't find it long. I had it out earlier. It's probably right here. Somewhere. Alright, you guys are getting the window dirty, the dirty window view from inside the Bobcat. Uh, Eve just did something illegal he should never do. Go under a... I got it on camera actually. You're fucking dick or telling your boss. Okay, so what Eve's gonna do is we got the crate sitting up on uh, the engine and the tranny. And Eve's unbolting mounts. Uh, I guess he fucked up. I'll, uh, I guess I'm gonna edit that part out. <laughs> so lack of filming was due to more concentration. So uh, and we didn't break fuck all. What happened? We didn't break fuck all. So yeah, we're good to go. Uh, this Porsche is good to go back to the owner for him to strip everything he wants out of it. Mainly that fucking brand new drive shaft. Not too much more. Hey, uh, you want to change the CD player while you're up there? All right, so while well, I fucked up and I didn't film a lot of the taking the Porsche engine out of the second one, and just filmed a little bit of going in, so. Fuck. Quit. Just kidding. All right, well, look, we're getting the uh, Porsche engine back in here and uh, kind of doing it the same way we did before. We uh, still have it on the same thing. And uh, Bob, our hoist operator, is bringing it down. And we had uh, a plumb ball here to line up our... Whew. Okay, we're kind of fucked on this side right here. Okay, give me a second there. All right, with the compressor running in the background, we've connected everything. All we've got left to do is put some uh, clutch fluid in her, uh, hook up our shifter cable, make sure we're not in gear. I got a, a hose to clamp in here, and then we're going to fire it up. Try it. Try it. All right, here in the Porsche. I'm going to see if she fires up for the first time. Nice!
All right, we headed to town. Got the Porsche on the back. Oh, let's have a look there. Got Eve following closely behind. Fuck, his truck looks mean. Hello, welcome to Reva's Radical Ride. My name is Adanao. Welcome to the first edition of Adanao's Corner. Today's guest is my boss and longtime friend, Gasoline. How you doing? Awesome. You? What are we here to talk about today? Oh, well, you're the host. You should know the, <laughs> what we're talking about. Sure, okay. We're here to talk about the Porsche Motor Swap. How you feeling about it? Uh, I felt pretty good, actually. I had uh, a lot of confidence. Didn't think it was going to be too hard of a job. It looked pretty simple on the video. Looked like you guys had some fun. Oh, yeah. We had a good time. We uh really well-engineered car, as far as I'm concerned. Did like, you find it a challenge to work on a car like a Porsche, opposed to, you know, an American vehicle, like a Ford or a GM? Well, it was a little different because of where the engine was. But um, I didn't really have like a proper engine stand or anything to remove the engine, so we had to use the Bobcat crate. But right on. Other than that, I don't know. I found it pretty simple. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. I like uh, I like the footage I saw. I hope our viewers like it too. I hope so. So uh, we're asking you to like the video. We're going to subscribe to them. And uh, we'll catch you next time on Idaho's Corner. Ching, ching, ciao.